but they are still difficult cases. So this is a very tricky case. On the basis of what I said earlier, you make the diagnosis of melanoma. So it's a difficult case. And this difficult case is called a lion guru. It's a kangaroo, a very kind and soft animal, who wants you to think that he's a lion. So this is, again, a very tough case. Periangual involvement, atypical lines. So this is melanoma on the basis of what I said earlier. But, but it's a child. And this lesion was present since birth. So it's congenital nevi of the nail plate. And these congenital nevi are very difficult to diagnose. And for that reason, we uh, decided to set a register. We all know that congenital nevi are difficult elsewhere on skin. This is a, a, a two days old baby. And you see that these lesions are very ugly. So you may consider a biopsy on the, on the dark spots. But after a few months, the lesion became very uh, regular. So it's not, uh, it's not necessary to perform biopsy. And congenital nevi of the uh, extremities is, are difficult to manage. So we set this register, and we already have 36 cases. What I want to say is that we had three biopsies. I know that there are four now, because uh, someone told me that one of the cases had biopsy. And it's, again, a, a benign nevus. So we have no case of melanoma. And cases are coming from everywhere. And of course, inclusions are still going on. So if you have cases, please join the register. These are our preliminary uh, results of this register. And this is the first uh, observation. It's very frequent in very early observation to have a very irregular pattern of the lines. So this is an image of melanoma in, a, in an adult, but it's not the case in a child. The triangle shape is very common also in, uh, in uh, very early cases. And this is a case from Italy. So I know that this case changed over time. The, the lesion became less triangular. A biopsy has been taken, and it was a nevus. So uh, Dr. Kagali is in the room, and he gave me this information. So triangular shape is very common, but nothing to worry about in, in, in congenital lesions. It's very common to see weakness or fractures of the nail plate. And this is also a sign of melanoma in adults, but not in children. It's, uh, it's something that improves. Periangual involvement is also very common. And very often, it's limited to the distal end with this somewhat longitudinal pigmentation that, that you see here, with almost no pigmentation of the nail plate. So this is also a very common aspect in congenital nevi. After a while, I showed you this image, you see that the lesion becomes more regular. And even more, we see that these cases are getting better over time. So this is a patient we have followed for seven years. And you see, this is the first image. This is the image after seven years. And you can see that the lesion is improving. And now it's almost invisible. So why performing excisions of these nails? since we know that it's going to vanish over time. So please join the uh, register. And it's very simple. You have to send the case to my email address. And I know that JP is giving my e email address to everyone, so <laughs> there is no problem with that. In case of doubt, of course, surgery is necessary. And doing this surgery to someone is something important, but it's something difficult to perform. You can be helped by intraoperative dermoscopy. And this is intraoperative dermoscopy. This is dermoscopy of the nail matrix with a, a removed nail. And you see that the pigmentation is irregular. This helps you not to select the patient to be submitted to biopsy, since if you have done that, well, you can go ahead and perform the biopsy. <laughs> the, the damage is done but then you can precisely target your biopsy on the right spot. And this is interesting. For example, in that case, we saw that the pigmentation was located in the distal matrix, but also involved the nail bed. So we perform a biopsy of the distal matrix and of the nail bed, which is not usual. But remember, this surgery is very difficult. It has to be performed by someone who is trained to do that, because the, 
the informative piece of tissue is very small. If you do anything wrong with this, you will have no other occasion to make the diagnosis prior the metastatic process. So you have to rely on very good surgeons to do that. And it's a difficult case because the informative region is very small. You see, this is melanoma, and this is melanoma of the proximal matrix. And if you make a biopsy there, for example, you will miss the diagnosis. So it's very important to be targeted on the right point. And it's also very important to not use the forceps to, to catch the specimen, because you have this. And then it's impossible to say anything. So be careful. It's difficult surgery. And it's better to refer the patient to someone who knows than doing something that we cannot interpret. Of course, oh, by the way, I think you can, hear, you can read that much better than I do. I, I have this image from Iris de Laudec. But if I understood correctly, it says, I don't know what it is. OK? But you know what it is. So why was it so? Just because the biopsy was performed on the periangual skin. And in that case, it's very difficult to make the diagnosis. Melanoma is not here. It's here. You will never think of taking a biopsy outside the lesion in a facial melanoma. So you have to take the biopsy in the nail matrix to make an accurate diagnosis of acral antigenous melanoma. And taking the biopsy here will not give you a good sign. This was signed out by the best dermatopathologist in the world, and he said, I don't know, but you know. So provide good specimen to the pathologist. You can either do this or this. It's similar. But I would suggest to not do this. So this is the old way of performing biopsy. So don't take picture. It's not the good way, but you can do something like that. It's very cool to the patient. You have everything, of course, but then it's difficult to reconstruct the nail, and very often you have very bad scars. So in, it's not the best way to, to sample a nail. It's much better to, to do that under the control of the view. And then I come to management. I have one minute left, so it's enough. What is important, what is the important message now is that amputation is not necessary anymore in, in situ or in low invasive acral and disease melanoma of the nail unit. You can do conservative treatment. And this conservative treatment gives you a very good margin. It's a one centimeter margin. So you don't have to worry about insufficient surgery. This surgery is easy to perform and it saves. You see, this is a th right thumb. If you lose the right thumb, there are many things you cannot do anymore. So it's better to do this conservative treatment with grafting, and you, you come to this result. And this is a very acceptable thumb that can work. Of course, it's not good to play the guitar, but it's OK for many other things. So I come to my conclusions, and my time is expired. So uh, melanonychia striata is a clinical syndrome of multiple causes, including melanoma. Second, dermoscopy provides interesting information to select the patient to be submitted to biopsy. Third, digital dermoscopy follow-up may permit to diagnose initially not obviously malignant lesions. And third, congenital nevi of the nail unit are difficult to diagnose, so it's important to increase our knowledge and to include cases in the register. Oh, by the way, this is a patient who was a sculptor, and he was very happy I didn't cut off his, his, uh, his finger. So he gave me this culture of this thumb. So this is in my office. So if, he want, if anyone wants it, I can, I can easily give it, because <laughs> it's not nice. Uh, so in case of that, pathology remains the gold standard. Quality of sampling is very important. If you miss the right spot, you will never get to the correct diagnosis. And then conservative treatment is applicable to the majority of cases of melanoma that have been diagnosed on melanonychia striata. So uh, this is a summary of what I said. And I want to thank all my coworkers. So this is a part of the dermatology group of Lyon. And many people, some of them are here in the room, like Lorenza. And uh, thank you, JP, for your kind invitation. 
Uh, since now the figure of academic dermatology is changing in Italy, I hope that you will find soon a position that you deserve. And this is my final message. You know already Paris. Visit Lyon. Thank you.